Today is December 14th. Today's quote is entitled, My Prabhupada. Many of Prabhupada's disciples saw him in a special way, a subjective way. This is due to their own subjective consciousness and also the way Prabhupada dealt with him. And even if we try to be objective and say Prabhupada is like this, that may sometimes fail because he is a transcendental personality who sometimes could be extremely strict and heavy and the next moment be extremely liberal and soft. In other words, what we're saying here, Prabhupada is a multifaceted personality. And you can't always put him in a box of predictability. There's a funny story. One time Prabhupada said, how do you know Krishna is God? And, and, said, and devotee said, it because in the Bhagavad Gita it says he's God. And Prabhupada, want, he didn't want a Shastric answer. He wanted a different answer. And, he, and Prabhupada was playing the part of an ordinary person. He said, well, that's just your book. It's just a book that you believe. So someone else said, because you say, Prabhupada, and he said, yeah, I, I could cheat you, or I'm just an ordinary, I'm just another person. Now, how do you know Krishna's God? Then Prabhupada said, he said, because you feel the ecstasy. That's your experience. You can't argue. It's a tangible experience that Krishna is present in his name, is in his hearing, his leela, and so forth. So another time, Prabhupada asked the same question. He said, how do you know Krishna is God? And the devotee who was there before said, because you can feel the ecstasy. And Prabhupada said, no, because it says in Bhagavad Gita. You probably know the story where Prabhupada asked the sannyasi to travel. He said, three days maximum, and then you must move on. And then immediately after that, he spoke to a sannyasi and said, I want you to stay here. So that's why it's difficult to put Prabhupada in a box and say he's just like this. Prabhupada was very, very strict. He was also very lenient, very liberal, very kind, very heavy. And he was heavy with some devotees because they were close and they were leaders and they could take it. And with people who couldn't take it, he was often very light, very liberal. There's a story that one time devotees went with Prabhupada to take prasadam the home of an, an important person, and the prasadam had onions in it. So the devotees are eating it. Shh, shh, Prabhupada, it's got onions. Prabhupada said, yes, yes. He said, don't say anything, just eat it. Because he didn't want to upset the host. And then the host served chocolate ice cream, and, and the devotees, with chocolate by Prabhupada, it's chocolate. And just, Prabhupada said, just eat it. So we see sometimes Prabhupada was very lenient for specific reasons, and other times, of course, very strict about something we may not even realize we need to be strict about. And I think, why is Prabhupada enforcing this? And sometimes he was so, so heavy. So the point of this is that sometimes devotees will ex express their realizations and their experience of Prabhupada or try to make Prabhupada a certain way, and in some cases, yes, he was that way. But we should always take into consideration that he may not always be that way. And sometimes, which is the, one of the most interesting things that we saw with Prabhupada, is that he might preach something, but in his personal life, in some cases, it seems that he wasn't going along with what he was preaching. And devotees who are close to Prabhupada said, in private, he was a much different person. He was himself. In public, he was more of the acharya representing the disciple succession, having to represent the acharyas, speaking what the acharyas speak. But in his personal life, you would see how he would apply it, sometimes using common sense, sometimes questioning the devotees what we would have to do. And so it's hard to just put Prabhupada always into a box. And if anyone tries to do that, I would say at least we should be aware 
that is their Prabhupada. That's the way they see Prabhupada, and which also sometimes is connected just to the kind of person they are. So naturally, a very liberal person or a very mellow or laid-back person will tend to see the aspects of Prabhupada that are more liberal, more forgiving, more friendly and rose-like. And a person who tends to be more strict will tend to see or remember or focus on the more strict side of Prabhupada, the times he chastised devotees for doing the wrong thing, the times he was very heavy about something. So he was both, there's no doubt. But to make him one or the other, it, 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 we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't think that he's just this way and that way. And, and some, some devotees will say that even though Prabhupada was very strict, with me, he was never like that. Sometimes, you know, we would read things that Prabhupada would say about women, and some women felt really bad. I said, Prabhupada, is it true women have 64 ounces? And Prabhupada would say, devotee, uh, women have smaller brains than men, 32 ounces. Said, devotee women have 64 ounces. So, but with a reporter, no, 32 women, less intelligent. He's making different points. And so I think it's important to understand these things. Yeah.